how do you know when you're stretching a biblical metaphor too far? To me, this, this question is like typology. You know, how do, how do I know when I'm seeing a type in the Old Testament for Jesus that I really shouldn't see? I tend to be very cautious, you know, with this sort of thing. What I want is I want scriptural examples of the metaphor working whatever way you say it's working. Scriptural examples of a metaphor trajectory provide me a boundary line. They, they provide me with parameters. I will operate within the parameters because I know that if I'm not doing that, I'm making something up. I just feel better if I can hang my hat on something in the text that I can glom onto that and follow that path. But I know it's a path. I know it's there. It's not something independent. So I, again, I try to, I handle those things basically the same way.